All right, crossing my fingers, this isn't a mercy. This has been a mammoth PvP session. I'm talking like 10 hours-ish to try to get a handle on where Stasis is at in the meta. So let's go move to Stasis real quick. You'll notice I was on top tree dawn. Might be some uh, foreshadowing here. I'm also going to switch off snipe. Control. So let me summarize where I'm at with Stasis. I think the Behemoth is S tier, and I think the... Hunter Revenant is S tier. Keep in mind, you can't talk about stasis as a whole. You have to be specific with the aspect and fragment combo. Every aspect and fragment combo plays a little bit different, similar to just full subclasses. Like top tree arc strider is a little bit different than bottom tree arc strider. So fragment aspect completely changes stasis. That was pretty good. I need some help, team. Don't be captured. You have zone advantage. That's why we have fire team. That was perfect. Good job. That's it. Turret did its job. Double down. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. Two for one. Oh no, we're gonna mercy. Who says warlocks are better with books than with guns? I'm sorry. Shax, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I decided to play stasis today. I'm sorry. Let me play a full match. Shaxx, let me play a full match, please, please, please. I'm I'm hitting the brakes. Brakes are pumped. I'm gonna go tell my uh my lovely YouTube viewers a story by the staircase. Okay. So Behemoth has the slide aspect, the cryoclasm, that's what it's called. And then it has the one where if you break a glacier grenade, it creates shards. And then it has a fragment where if you collect shards, you get an overshield. Right? Whisper Rhyme. So that is the meta way to run Titan. You want to run it with creating as much cover and as much shards, which mean overshield, as possible. Well, the beauty of Titan's defensive play is that it turns any map into the game, any map in the game, to a close quarters map. Because use the... Like, look at this sideline. This Glacier Nade, then a slide. Now this is SMG distance. Then I walk up to the Glacier, barricade, now this is SMG distance for longer. And then if that breaks, I get overshield. My team gets overshield. And that's a big component of what I want to stress today is Shadebinder in isolation needs help. But when it plays with the stasis and light team combo, and I'll explain what that is in a sec, it feels really good. I'm pumping the brakes. So what Shadebinder brings to the table is the slowing build. It has the best slow build in the game. Hunter is dethroned. But Hunter also just has the best vertical mobility. And did you just reload while frozen? Anyway. Hunter has the fastest vertical movement. And then Shatter Dive puts it to the ground instantly. So Hunter can stand alone. That is all it needs to be considered S tier. It could have a garbage super, garbage neutral game, but the Shatter Dive alone is all it needs. So Shadebinder used to bring the freeze capabilities to Stasis, right? It's like, oh no, somebody get frozen, kid. Except I missed that one. Uh, but really, you're trying to use the freeze to handle supers. You can completely shut down supers on your own, unassisted. You could turn a freeze into extra utility in the form of swashbuckler, some grenade energy. I want to beat up the striker. Oh, 
I took off Freeze Rift, by the way, because I want Overshield when I play with teams. Sorry, dude. Good shot. I like I said, I'm just trying to pump the brakes here so I can get a full match. Keep it up. So here's my main issue with Shadebinder and why I will probably not play it outside of teams anymore. The whole reason I liked Shadebinder is because it gave you options and it also dealt with everyone's instant win button that unfortunately for me, people choose to use on me. Doesn't matter if they could get a 7th column. They say, hey, that guy's on a pretty hot streak. I remember he put me in the spawn screen three times. Yeah, I'm going to super that guy. Shadebinder was the only class in the game where I could say, how about no? And that's taken away. And the reason for that is because of the universal freeze changes. So cold snaps now freeze only for one and a quarter second. Rift freezes for one and a third quarter second, something like that. It's all the same. Melee, same. The issue with Shadebinder is that it, the animation for these things was not taken into account. It's a very slow animation. See this? One and a third second. So I would be throwing this Rift, right? Rift would freeze. I don't have the aspect on. And I would only have, get this, 0.2 seconds to do something if I do that to a super. So let that sink in. All I have time for after the rift is one melee on a super. So needless to say, it kind of forces you to snipe. Uh, you would be doing a maneuver... I'm going to show you. Wait for me to respawn. I needed snipe ammo to show you this. So look at the chevron on my screen right now. You use this to aim with your sniper rifle when you're going for a freeze. And so if that guy was frozen, you aim with the chevron. You hold down your right click, your right trigger. So you aim down sights. And you spam the trigger as much as you can. You want to like physically hear that bitch. Because if you are not frame perfect, you aren't killing a super. They will get out, they will throw another Dawn Blade at you, they will Titan slide away. If you choose to Freeze Rift. So, because Destiny has like so many latency problems, I don't even risk it. He's still alive? I thought there was a Striker Titan here. whatever and so it occurred to me like it took me all day to come to this conclusion if i have to snipe to make shade binder work just to get the benefit of a turret i would rather just play top tree dawn blade because it has the same chance of beating a super a snipe's gonna kill a super anyway so i might as well be able to play off the map like yes shade binder can platform up that's really awesome. Start my lawnmower. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going at this point. It's too funny not to. I think I might be able to get one freeze rift in. Before the match ends. 40 seconds, I mean... That's, uh, that's pretty tight. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from here. I will be doing post commentaries of my best Behemoth and Revenant games and explain what makes those subclasses S tier while I do it. But I'm doing the live commentary today for Shadebinder just because it follows up yesterday's video where I was so excited to play it. And now I don't really want to play it at all.
And it's not a matter of being better than my Dawnblade with it or not. I still think my Dawnblade is superior even pre-nerf. Even when Stasis was at its peak, I still think my Dawnblade was stronger than me on Shadebinder. So just to be clear there. But I was so excited to shut down supers in style. And contribute to the Stasis team build. So what is a Stasis Light team build? I know I glossed over that. That would be like having a Behemoth Titan. So Behemoth Titan throws down a Glacier Nade, breaks Glacier Nade. One of its aspects creates shards off the Glacier Nade. Now your entire team can collect those shards. If you're a Stasis dude, you get Overshield. So if you're another Titan, Warlock, or Hunter, you get Overshield. But if you're a light subclass, like let's say a Night Stalker, Hunter, with Kepri Sting, you get melee energy from the Titan breaking the Glacier. So you can convert that melee energy into a smoke grenade that lets you have wall hacks. So here's how the team would go. Hunter throws down smoke, gets walls, says, there are three people to our left. Warlock charges up grenade, throws turret behind everybody to the left. Titan pushes up a little bit with a glacier nade, Throws a barricade into the Glacier Nade and creates a bunch of shards. Now Titan has an overshield. Aspect is going in just a little bit, slowing people down. Hunter runs over some of the shards. And now three people who are slowed see overshield people on a barricade. And they say, yeah, how about no? How about I go the other direction? And the hunter now has his smoke back. So the hunter throws down the smoke and sees one person rotating a little bit faster than his two teammates. So the hunter says, I got this, boys. Gets a headshot, procs flawless execution or something like that, and then says where the other two are as the Titan and Warlock clean up the remaining stragglers. That's not how it's going to go down every time, but it can happen like that. And that's what these aspect fragment combos and team composition can create. And I'm super excited to try those. I'm just not excited to play Shadebinder by myself. Was it really not in queue the whole time? That's why I was being extra wordsy with that. Not trying to stretch the uh, ad revenue or anything, but trying to get a full match. There's definitely way too much to talk about with these stasis nerfs anyway, so I'm not worried. I contemplated today going with Claws of Ahamkara. I do have the build. And I think I change Grenade to a Melee. So I do have all the cooldown numbers here. You can essentially get your Nade back in 30 seconds with Ivan of the World and Bomber. And you can get your Melee back in 43 seconds at Tier 10. And I'm not even going to bother with Outreach. So I was thinking Claws of Ahamkara was the play. But I actually found the Melee very difficult to land. Because the melee is still slowed down, but now more people are on top tree Dawnblade with the speed that that gets and Stompy Hunter Revenant, you're not landing a freeze. It's way too difficult with the latency. So Snipe has to be out handling matters in this. Aim with the Chevron, done. Nice. We didn't even get to supers. That's all I wanted. Oh no, my postmaster. Where's the vault space bungee? I got the Starfire protocol when Dado hosted my stream one time. He dropped like, I don't know, 700 viewers or something. And the second that he did it, I got this Starfire protocol. And it has created a legendary build for me. Look at the speed. Look, I'm going back to A-Flag specific- No! I tried so hard this game. Oh, Spectre Blades, hold up. Oh, Dawn Blade, let's go. Why don't I just play Mayhem? I totally would have beat that Dawn Blade, by the way. No doubt in my mind. Well, I'm sorry to everyone at home who wanted to see me play a video game, because I wanted to too for the last 10 hours. Anyhow, Stasis Nurse. Pretty good so far. 
I do think a second glance over should be given to slight extension on the freeze because the animations take forever. So it's either you speed up the animation, which makes it more brainless, or reward you more. So that risk reward needs to be adjusted a little bit. And I think I will be back on Shadebinder attacking supers. Maybe in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next one.